SB, let me do your intro, all right? That's being five and twenty seconds. I'm doing your intro. One, two, three, four, five, eight, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. All right, yo, what's up, guys? SB here, coming back with another commentary. And today's story is going to be about how my girlfriend was breastfeeding me about two weeks ago. Uh, this happened actually one night at like it was really late. I was with my friends. I remember. Uh, we went out to go get McDonald's. We tried to hit some people up, but like no one was coming. So it was just me and my friend. And then actually, when we were in line, SB, am I doing good? SB, you can't just not talk. SB. Okay, what is this kid talking about? No, no, I'm just gonna leave because it's probably something disgusting. I'm done with this kid. All right, guys, I'm just gonna be like completely honest here, like. When I start to record, like, I have no idea what I'm going to talk about. Like, I just kind of think of things off the top of my head. I'm just sitting here like an idiot for, like, five minutes trying to think of something to record. Alright, what's going on, guys? It's SB here, bringing on the commentary. And today, I'm going to be talking about something that happened, actually, like, a really long time ago. But, you know, it was actually pretty... It was pretty sick. Even though I was, like, what? I was probably around seven years old. Alright, so, if you guys didn't know about this, I had a really close friend, like, we were literally best friends, we were neighbors, um, we moved into the same apartment, like, when I moved out from Reno, he was moving at the same time as me, and just by pure luck, he ended up, like, moving straight by the house, like, right next to mine, so, yeah, we ended up, like, growing up together until we were about, like, um, I don't know, 5th or 6th grade, and then he moved to Utah, so. So this kid was actually, like, a pretty big part of my life, or at least, like, early childhood. Alright, so I've had, like, a lot of memories with this kid, and honestly, dude, I fought with him so much. Like, we always, we would always get in arguments, like, over the dumbest crap, too. Like, I don't know, we were just always fighting, it seemed like. Like, we would just ignore each other for days on end, and... Yeah, like, just for stupid reasons, like, he would punch me in the arm, and then I would get pissed at him, and then we got a huge fight, and then I would just ignore him, like, we just didn't even talk, like, we just hated looking at each other's faces. Alright, so, basically what had happened was, I was over at his house, and we were playing baseball in his backyard. So, when we were playing baseball, we were playing, like, wiffle ball or something, I think. We were playing with a wiffle ball and a metal bat. <laughs> oh yeah okay Th this is what happened like i i kind of i remember it for sure but you know i kind of drew a blank on exactly what i did to him so he threw the ball at me and basically what happened was oh my no don't don't follow him don't He's a freaking nerd, don't do it. Just trust me, it's a terrible idea. Anyways, guys, we're playing wiffle ball in his backyard. And he threw the ball. So, you know, I was going to hit it, you know, I, I was like concentrating so hard. And when I swung, the bat went flying out of my hands and it hit him straight in the face. Like, I slapped the crap out of him with the metal bat. After I hit him in the face with the bat, he chased after me, he was chucking, he was like chucking everything he could find at me, and I was just running out his backyard like screaming for my life, like I was just squealing dude, I was like so freaking terrified. So after that, you know, we, we were pretty mad at each other, like I wasn't mad at him, but I was honestly like scared of him, like I was terrified. He comes over like a couple days after that, and you know, we just act like we're cool with each other, or we aren't even acting like we're, we're cool with each other. So, we're out in my garage, and we're trying to think of things to do, and that kind of thing. Th this is where, it <laughs> this is so funny, dude. He grabs a bat, like a foam bat, in my garage, and as a joke, he started chasing me. But I wasn't taking it as a joke, I'm just like, holy crap, this kid's gonna punch, he's gonna hit me upside the head with this thing. Like, I'm done, I'm gonna freaking die or something. So I turn around and I literally run for my life like I'm not looking back and actually <laughs> I actually did look back and the second that I turned back around when I was sprinting I nailed my face straight across to the side view mirror on my mom's car like I was at that height where I was like face level with the thing and it just slapped me straight across the face. My friend was just having a heyday, like, he wasn't even having any problem with me just crying in pain. I'm honestly okay with that, I would rather get hit in the face with the side view mirror than that kid just going hard on me. Anyways guys, if you did enjoy today's commentary, feel free to subscribe because I'll be posting more stories just like this in the future. 
And yeah, guys, it's been SB. See you on my next commentary. Peace.